All right, grab the scan tool, see if we can link up. So this is uh, a Tesla out of mining key. Ooh, what is that about? Well, Tesla's still a car, and you still require maintenance and repairs. So we can put tires on this, no problem. We can do brakes on this, no problem. We can do mirrors, we can do taillights, door handles, window glass, wiper blades, filters, you know. All the stuff that's available to the Tesla dealer is available to us too. Headlight assemblies, um, wiper blades, but it's at Meineke. Let's see, I got my shirt on. Ah! So Caleb's just doing, what's it got? 3,000 miles on it? So we're gonna do a 3,000 mile maintenance check. He's gonna check the tire pressure. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the tire condition, see if it's time for a tire rotation or not, because if he drives it hard, I'm gonna see it. If he doesn't, I'm not really worried about it. Caleb's trying to find out where the diagnostic connector is. He's got his boost oxygen. Yeah. I couldn't figure they out should that. put some more lighting in this car, like underneath the dashboard, like yeah. for all the money that you spend for this thing. It should be blinged out a little bit on top of me having to bling it out. Most people don't understand this until they're driving at night and you can't you gotta use a flashlight to see if something fell on your floor. Uh, or when you're a technician, you gotta put, you know, under hood lights and flashlights inside the interior because the black absorbs so much of the natural light it's impossible to see. Um, so I just looked it up. I looked up where the diagnostic test connector is and I think you need an adapter to use OBD2. To plug in with OBD2. This is OBD2. Yeah, bro. It says OBD2 adapter installed. Well, let's see if we have that adapter. I mean, where's the port? There's got to be a That's port. That's what I'm trying to find. It's got to be underneath here. So the standardization for uh, vehicles was OBD2 and a standard location for the diagnostic connector. And standardization of all the... Uh, trouble codes so every manufacturer's codes were the same they could be a little bit different in description but the codes had the same meaning a little bit different in description so I'm curious if we can find a diagnostic connector and if they standardize these EV vehicles as well on the other side of the car. That's completely strange. Unless it's under some shielding. I'm not sure. But yeah, I definitely wanted to see for myself if we can access that with an external scan tool. Because it's listed in my scanner that we have it software for it oh it might be us it might be a uh, phone that's what they're saying you need the adapter yeah so we do not have the adapter so what it is is you know the phone style plug yeah, and then that's like, converted to obd2 right. so yeah. i don't think i have that in that case no i doubt it you can look because i it's i mean this is fairly new scan tool Tesla was out. Well, that sucks. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll move this video into uh, something else. So here is the diagnostic port here underneath the left side of your dashboard. And it's phone cable or it could be a uh, USB kind of, right? I don't know. It looks like a phone cable to me. It does, right? Yeah, so... Looks like phone cable to OBD2, which we do not have that adapter readily available, I don't think. We're going to go check. <clears throat> but I will purchase that cable if you continue watching my videos. No. Some bitch! That sucks. 
All right, uh, I'll have to get it. That crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, so that ain't happening. <laughs> I would say probably the dealership's using a laptop. Um, I would bet. All right, well, let's get into a, an undercarriage inspection while we're here. We'll, we'll just shift gears. A lot of people complain about the ride quality of this car. I actually, I actually enjoy the ride quality of the car. It drives like a Corvette. Once the, when the oil and the gas charge warm up into struts, it softens a little bit. But right now, when it's cold, it's harsh. It's firm. And yeah, it's got big brakes on it. Big Tesla-style Brembo brakes. Can you tell I repaired this wheel? Can you tell I repaired this wheel? My son curbed it. Sup, yeah. <laughs> so what they do for this is, you know, all these cars have plastic shielding and it, it helps it move through the air, streamline. Yes, this helps with mileage. Helps with your fuel economy, wind resistance. So you got a multi-link front suspension, right? Mm -hmm. and it, like I said, it reminds me of a Chrysler front end because it has that, and Honda, has that big wishbone upper control arm, McPherson style strut, sway bar link. Two, technically two lowers, but this is a lateral arm, right? And then a ball joint. Obviously has EPS. And then, you know where your jack points are? I'm gonna say right under this clip is one. That's one right there, right? And then the same thing up here. You your jack points there, right? I'm sure there's little pucks in the car somewhere, I would hope. Oh, then there's two oh, more in the middle. Yeah. So there's four. Four jack points on each side. Yeah. Dude, they have this whole undercarriage buried. This looks more like um, infinity rear, like infinity style rear suspension, because this is, a, I'm guessing that this is a, yes, yeah, this very, is a with very similar. You're right, because here's, yes, very similar to the infinity rear suspension. So I you consider Tesla an innovator. No, no. Um, the only innovative thing they did really was streamline battery technology, battery technology and, or make it Make it more available. Well, technology caught up. He reaped the benefits. Exactly. So it's not because electric motors have always been three phase, and it's uh, nothing really innovative. The only innovative brushless. Part, yeah, the only innovative part about it is like the plaid with um, the high RPM motors. Right, right, right. But I'm just saying, like, I mean, the, it's the not base like model stuff he, like this. He, is, he he went to drawing board and and made no no <laughs> <you> no. <know. laughs> So, and the tire wear looks good and doesn't look like he's too hard on the car. I wonder if we sex wax this with some skateboard shit, can it pick up some coefficiencies? I don't think that would be. <laughs> so, if this was all wheel drive, right? All they would do is upgrade the bearings. Yep. Right? And then they would put a differential up in here. Yep. Well, no, not even a differential. Um, Another motor. Are you sure? Yeah, that's why I call it dual motor. Nah, dual motor there. means two motors in the back. So, so dual so motors yeah, in the back and then a drive line. Have, no, it wouldn't be a drive line. It would be a third motor up here. With the, Are you sure about that? I don't know. I haven't looked at Maybe it. Maybe it depends on the model, but I know that. I would say that too. Certain models have a third motor. Look it up real quick. Let's yeah. let's go to Google because Google is God, right? So go Model 3 dual motor driveline. So for the average Joe, they made it very intimidating for you to not work on your own car. You got a little AC condenser up in there. Yes, yeah, so dual motors. And then a front diff. 
Yeah, there you go. Electric drive. Click it. Let me see if we can get a better picture of it. Oh, no shit. So, I don't know if there's a motor in that or not. Oh, look. There's something in there. Any more pictures? Yep. So that's it. There's another electric motor. Oh, look, there's a filter. Yep. Oh, shit. What's Hold on for a second. I thought there was no maintenance required. Oh, Caleb, no maintenance required. Interesting so, enough, there's a fucking filter on your front differential on your all-wheel drive. And why do you think that is, boys and girls? Because it requires maintenance. Yeah. Ain't that some shit? Or maintenance-free. All these people on YouTube, it's maintenance-free, it's maintenance-free. It's not maintenance-free. It's way far less maintenance of a gasoline or diesel-powered vehicle. There still is required maintenance. And we can define maintenance, right? Tires, brakes, wiper blades, filters. Yeah, like drive. Rear-wheel yep. drive standard. One motor in the rear. Yep. Dual motor all-wheel drive. Yep. One in the rear, one in the front. Yep. So that's in that front diff. Yep. No shit. And then some of the higher models will have two in the rear and one in yes. the front. Yes. Front diff. Right? Yep. I see. That's what I was thinking originally. So your front diff has its own motor assembly because there's no there's no room for really a drive line which is connecting these two. And that's your battery. Go back to that picture. Oh boy, oh, everybody's yeah. learning a lot of shit about Teslas, huh? And I say, oh, you probably, yeah, yeah well, uh, there's no recommended service for antifreeze and transmission fluid. Bullshit. That's a lie. Transmission fluid needs to be maintained. Gear oil needs to be maintained. Coolant needs to be maintained. There it is. This is a different one. Right. So, see the, see the cooler on it? So there's an external cooler which fails on most cars. Mm -hmm. And then there's a the filter. Right. There's, there is your filter. I wonder what they charge for a front dip service. Probably $800. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably something completely obnoxious. I wouldn't expect that anything less. Interesting. That's crazy. Alright, thanks for watching.